Hello guys, in this video we will focus on to the attribute table and see what options we can do inside the attribute table. So I want you to hide all the other layers except the Orange County cities and you will right click and zoom to this layer and then right click again and open attribute table. So here we have the table that represent the features we have in this layer and also shows us the data we entered before. So let's start by what the table look like. So this is called columns or fields and this is called rows. And the rows represent one feature, each row represent one feature and when you click on it, it will highlight and when you double click on it, it will zoom to this feature. And you can also select multiple rows at the same time to highlight it on the map. If you click on the icon on the top left, it will clear the highlight or you can also clear the selection from here. So now we have the on the top here the name of each field and we have the data inside of the table. And when you see an asterisk next to the field name, that means that this field you cannot change the values inside of it and you cannot change the field name. Other than that, we can change the values of the other fields. So now let's check the table options we have right here. First thing we have is find and replace. And find will try to find a value inside a certain field that you are selected. So if I have this one selected here, the city name, and I want to search for a city called Costa Mesa, find next, and you will see that the Costa Mesa value have been selected for me and when I click on it, it will be highlighted for me right here. The second option we have is select by attribute and here you can define a specific query to select based on this query and we will focus more on this part in the select by attribute video. The next option is to clear selection and when you click on it any selection uh, on this table will be cleared. Here to switch selection and that means select the unselected and unselect the selected. So right now I have nothing selected so if I click switch selection everything will be selected. If I clear all selection and selected few records and I come here and say switch selection, as you see here, the selection have been switched. And then here you can select all and you can clear selection again. And here add field as we saw it before. And after that we have to turn all fields on so for example here I have this field uh, I want to hide so I can right click on it and say turn field off and now I cannot see this field anymore so I can come here and say turn all fields on again so now I can see this field back again. Uh, sometimes you have a lot of fields like maybe hundreds of fields and you need to hide some of these fields just to make sure that you are focusing on the fields you want to work on. The next option we have here is show field alias and here remember when we have when we create and here remember when we created the field in the beginning we entered the name for the field and we entered the alias. If you right click on any field and you go to properties you will see that this is the name it doesn't have any spaces and this is the alias here. So from this option here you can show field aliases or you can show field names. So as you saw here now the field name is used instead of the field alias so I'm gonna put it back again and now the alias is showing in the table right here. And then the next option here arrange tables and all the options here is not visible because this only works when you have several tables shown right here. So for example if this feature class have a relationship class or a table associated with it, you will see that you have an option to switch between the tables here and from this option here you can arrange this table showing on the bottom based on horizontal tab or vertical tab. And when we create a relationship class we will come back here and I will show you how to switch between them. Here you can restore the default column width. So for example if I am here and I'm working on my table I'm changing the width and I'm changing how my table looks like, I can come here and restore it to default. The next option we have uh, the field order and also you can select one field and you can move it anywhere you want and you can change how this order looks like and you can come back here and restore this order again. 
joins and and relate again we are gonna create a separate video for that you can achieve join and relate from different options like from here or from the layer properties or from the layer menu and here you have the related tables as i said if you have any relationship classes associated with this feature class or if you have tables uh, connected to this feature class it will show up right here here you can create a graph out of this uh, data right here and we will we are going to create a separate video for how to create a graph from the data right here the next thing we have is add table to layout so if I am in the layout view and I want to add this data right here I can come here and say add table to layout and you will see that my table information have been shown up here and I can change how this layout looks like so I have my data view under the map let's go back to our data view and the next option we have is reload cache and reload cache will kind of think about it like refresh if you make any changes and you cannot see this changes take effect you can reload cache here to refresh your table and refresh your feature class here you can print this entire table and here you can create a report from this data so let's see how that looks like so we are going to create a report here you select which layer you want to create the report from so we are going to keep it the same one we have right now uh, and you can select which fields you want to show into your report uh, you can multi select them so I'm going to select the city name area and average house price I'll put them right here to show them in my report I'll click go next I'll go next 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 click finish and now I have a report will be generated for me from this table right here so I have the city name and I have the average house price so you can print this one as a PDF or you can print it and share it with anyone now the next option we here we have is export and again export is similar to when we had export to the feature class and here you have the options to choose how you want to export it so let's say for example I can choose text file I'm gonna save it to my output location in the course data advanced and let's let's create a new folder from here and we'll call it table export and I will save my text file here say OK the export is done and we will go to our folder location and we'll open this text file and you can see here that you have your data with comma separated you can also change this extension here if you want to have this file as Excel file you can change it to CSV and you say yes and when you open it you will see exactly how your data looks like like it it looks on the table on ArcMap so as you see here you don't have the option to export to Excel file but you can export it to a text file and then when you go here you change the format from text to CSV or you can open it right click open with Excel and it will look like that and you can share this table with anyone so let's go to our map again and see the last option we have is appearance and appearance here you change how uh, the, your table looks like so you can change the appearance of the field name like the font size the color or what type of font let's say for example I want to make this the font size to be 14 and make it red and say apply and as you see the entire font has changed it for me I'm gonna put it back again 12 black apply so here you can change and also you can change the color of the selected features the next thing we have here is related tables and again when we create a relationship class or uh, at, uh, make a join between this table and another table we will see options right here here we have select by attribute again similar thing like when we open it from here select by attribute and here is switch selection and here clear selection and this one here is zoom to selection it's like double click on this one right here and the last icon here we have is delete selected and it's disabled right now because we need to have our our editing session open in order to be able to delete or in order to edit any fields right here so if you want to edit any fields right here by coming here and changing the value you need to have your editing session started so we are going to stop the editing session 
and the last thing we have on the bottom here you have paging let's say you have thousands of records for this layer it will show up in pages here and you can move from a page to the next page and here you can show all records or for example if we have some selected features here you can also say show only the selected features or show all records